What's up everybody? It's a beautiful day here in Venice, Florida, and we are so excited about what we are gonna show you today. We're gonna be showing you the top two luxury communities in Welland Park, and you're gonna be surprised about the second one. We are gonna show you Everly, which is where we are standing right now, and we are gonna show you the newest community coming to Welland Park, Palmera, which we announced in our last video. We're gonna be talking about what's going on there, what we know, what the builders are doing, then we are gonna show you the drive to the beach from these two communities. So you are not gonna to wanna to miss that. What's up everybody? My name is Francesca Hanahoe. And I'm Richard Hanahoe. If this is your first time to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap on that notification bell so you get notified when we do a new video just like this one, showing you where to live, eat, sleep, everything about Sarasota County. And listen, ever since we've been doing these videos, we've been getting so many calls and texts and emails from people just like you wanting to relocate to the Sarasota County area, and we absolutely love it. So make sure you reach out to us when you're thinking about moving here. You can call us, email us, text us anytime, because we do not stop working until you are a Sarasota County resident. All right, so we are standing here in Everly in Welland Park. All right, Richard, tell them where we're located. All right, so we obviously we're in Welland Park, and we are in the southeast part of Welland Park here in Everly. We got Lakespur around us, and we have the Welland Park Golf and Country Club just to the west of us. Yes, so right now in Welland Park, we're standing in front of the Lee Weatherington model, the Haven, and we're super excited about all of these models that are now open here in Everly. So we're gonna show you a couple of them, but first we're gonna go ahead and show you the community. I'm gonna turn around, we've got the Haven here, and then behind us we have the Caravel model, and then of course we have some Neil Signature down here, some John Cannon, but before we tour any of these models, let's go ahead and drive around the community and just kind of show you an update of what's going on here in Everly. All right, here we are in Model Row. And here's Neil's signature. We're gonna talk about all the builders that are in here, but we have two custom builders and that's Lee Weatherington and John Cannon. And this is the Lee Weatherington model, the Caravel. Gorgeous home. And there's Neil's signature. So Neil's signature is semi-custom building in here. And then we also have West Bay, which is more of just a production builder. It's not semi-custom, but it's a great product. They have a lot of options in their design center. And they just purchased up a whole bunch of lots in here. Yeah, they, so they, the they whole, just purchased another 70 lots in here. Yeah, the process with West Bay is a little bit different than these other builders. It's a little bit more standard where you pick out your lot, you pay for the lot, then you go to their design center, and these are their model. That was their model back there. These are their homes, the West Bay homes. So West Bay is building three to five bedroom homes with about two to five bathrooms, and they have about 2,500 square feet up to 3,600 square feet, and they do have three car garages. And their houses start in the high sixes and go up from there. And they did purchase some um, water view lots I just have to tell you that uh, the lot prices have gone up here in Everly. They started out where there were some in the twos and they went up to the threes. Now they go up to the fives and they just recently released some lots and they sold pretty quickly. Uh, so I do believe the next lot release in here is gonna go up maybe even higher than the fives. So brace yourself if you're looking to build in, in Everly, now is the time, don't wait because the prices are just gonna keep going up. But for West Bay, it's a little different. They already have their lots purchased. So when you're working with West Bay, they will help you pick one of their lots. When you work with um, Neil or John Cannon or Lee Weatherington, you're gonna pick your lot. If it's not released yet, you're gonna wait for it to get released. If it is released, you give a deposit just to hold the lot um, while you work out the numbers of your custom build and then you have about uh, 10 days to figure out if you want to move forward or not. Here's another Lee Weatherington build going on. So we're super excited about this community. As you can tell, this is, this is really the first luxury community here in Welland Park. And now we have another one coming that we're super excited about. That we're gonna show you today. There's not a lot on the ground, but we'll get there. So the construction of these homes 
This is Neil's signature. We love the construction of their homes. You get, obviously, it's block construction. You got your cement tile roofs. And then when it comes to John Cannon and Lee Weatherton with your full custom, you're gonna get a uh, poured steel reinforced lentil on these homes, which is great construction. If you guys are watching our videos, backgrounds builder developer. So if you have any questions in regards to the construction, feel free to drop a comment below and I can answer your questions. But the construction of these homes is superior. All right, so let's talk about Neil. Their houses start from the 900s and go up from there and they are building about 2,500 square feet up to about 4,500 square feet. So great product from all of these builders really. And all of the lots have either a preserve view or a water view. So they've really done a great job with the lots here. There's a couple lots where one house backs up to another, but it's rare here in Welland Park for that. And this is the John Cannon model right here. The Warina. It's another Neil signature model right here. Palm Bay. And here's Lee Weatherington's Haven. Yep. Beautiful home. All right, now let's talk about amenities here because the amenities are open. Well, the pool looks like it's open. No. The amenities aren't completely open yet. The pool is actually has water in it, but at this point you can't access the amenities yet. Who thinks that we should try to go get a sneak peek for you? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. The amenities are really gorgeous over here. The pool is overlooking this gorgeous lake here in Everly. So maybe we will be able to get in here and show you. One of our other videos, I was able to jump in there under construction. Oh, yeah, you know, they're going to want me in without a hard hat. They've actually I got a lockbox on it, so I think it's going to be a no-go. Oh, I actually got kicked out last time. And I am hearing there's going to be an activities director for this community. So if you're looking for, you know, to have some planned events in your community, this is uh, a great community to get that in. All right, the first model we're going to show you is this Haven. Our client is actually about to build one of these. It's really gorgeous, so we had to come and show it to you. This is a beautiful home. It's 3,800 plus square feet in here. And this is Lee Weatherington, so the construction is phenomenal. Our client is obsessed with this model, <laughs> and with good reason. And just so you know, these doors are push, not pull. And they're heavy. Okay, we have to show off these beams here. Speaking of these beams, just so you know, these beams are not structural. Okay. What do you guys think about this kitchen? It's absolutely gorgeous. Really love the size of it. But look at these pendants. Really cool custom details in the ceiling there, but look at this. really love this room. Now, my client's not a fan of this sunken down here, the step, but I kind of am. Reminds me of the house I grew up in. I don't know about you guys, but I think it was a thing in the 70s. Really love this room, though. Can imagine hanging out here and having those doors open. Really love the indoor-outdoor living. Got a pool to the, a door to the pool here. All right, you've got your pool back. Bar area. Check out the windows. Really gorgeous. Oh, check this out. For all you dog lovers out there, built in bowls for your dog. Love that. I'm saving the best for last, which is the master. All right, here's your pantry. Have that. Bedroom, an ensuite. Another guest bedroom. 
one over here. I really love the separation from the master in this house. And again, another ensuite. There's your laundry. All right, let's check out that master. Oh, Richard's opened the doors for us. There's 24 foot of glass open for you right there. Gorgeous, love it. All right, let's check this out. Really gorgeous. This is so awesome for entertaining, for hanging out by the pool. Really love it. All right, let's go check out the master here. Really nice area for your bathtub here. Look at that. Love the mirrors and the lighting. Got your, his and hers. What do you guys think about the wood paneling? I, I actually really love it. Love the windows again here really gorgeous. All right, let us know in the comments what you think about this house. All right, we are gonna take you into the John Cannon model. Yes, if you're watching our videos, you know John Cannon is one of our favorite builders. I really love the exteriors of all the homes in here, and I love that nothing is cookie cutter. Who doesn't love these doors? I know. Stunning. That is about 24 feet. That is incredible. Love a grand entrance. John Cannon is definitely known for his ceiling heights all yes. around the house. And for having different ceiling heights, which is really what makes the home feel so custom, if you ask me. The dining is kind of off to the side. Look at your door to the pool, pool bath. What do you guys think about this out here? Is this something? New, a little patio outdoor area here on the side. It's kind of hot in Florida. I'm not sure. I think during the winter that would be put to good use. I don't know. Got your den or your hangout area here. Laundry, kind of an L-shaped laundry room here. And then of course the garage is right there. Here it is, yours. So love this little space over here for working out. What do you guys think about this glass enclosed shower? Now I will tell you, I love a door that goes out to the pool in the master. I think that's the only thing the Haven's missing. However, you know it's Lee Weatherington, so they can add the door for you. The John and Lee, you can customize anything with these floor plans. Once 
plenty of outdoor space. There's that lake we were talking about. Really gorgeous. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Do you like this house or do you like the Haven better? I want to hear what you guys think. All right, now we are going to show you a Neil signature home. And keep in mind while you're walking through this home, it's semi-custom, but it really feels like custom. Let me know what you think. You can change the interior of the walls, but you cannot change the footprint as you walk through here. It's really gorgeous, y'all. Let me know what you think this house is priced at, and I'll tell you at the end. You know, we've heard that Neil Signature is selling a lot of lots out here, and I definitely see why. And when we tell you the price at the end, you'll know too. I really love the exterior of the room too. Y'all, this door is heavy. Richard, again, how is that? 24 feet. 24 feet. I love all the glass. Look at this. 16's in here. 16. 40 feet of glass. Look at that. Just really gorgeous. Okay, so you've got your office here. That's 20 feet right there. Look at that. A dream with an on suite. And check this out. Love it. If you're into entertaining and you want to have a chef out of the way, this is awesome. Laundry. Another bathroom. Are you following me? I'm going to the master. <laughs> in the master. All right, let's check out this indoor outdoor living. You got, you got to check out this casita out here. It's totally detached from the home. Beautiful. So our sales rep was just telling us that uh, this is an addition you can add on to this home. Look at this outdoor space, gorgeous. 165,000. For 165,000, you can add this casita right here. Look how nice this is. You have guests that come and stay a lot, or if maybe you don't want your guests to stay a lot, maybe you don't want to add this. <laughs> One of my clients told me, you want to have enough room to where it's comfortable for them to come and stay, but not stay too long. This is comfortable. <laughs> This home is really beautiful. Love it. You can sit and hang out right here. All right, what price did you guess in the comments? Our sales rep just told us this house all in right here is 1.8 million as you see it. Pretty surprising. If you put this house with like John Cannon or Lee Weatherington, you're definitely looking at 2.8 million. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, so we're pulling out of Everly, and now we are going to show you a community we are super excited about. We're going to show you how to yes. get there from Everly, and that's Palerma. And if you watched our last video, we announced it in yep. the video, but yep. uh, we've been watching Palerma for quite some time, so we're really excited to show it to you guys and show and talk about what's going on there, the little details that we have. Yeah, you know, out here in Welland Park, you know, Mattamy is the main developer, if you don't know. And they like to keep things quite a secret. Yes, and for do. some time, you know, obviously I'll just come out here and drone. And uh, I was droning one day and I just saw, wow, this big track of land, all kinds of infrastructure going in. I saw the roads go in. And then I had to get my four-wheel drive truck and get out there and see what was going on. And what I thought was a community coming in, it is Palerma. 
and we are super excited about it. But we'll tell you more about it as we go. So we're gonna pull out of here, uh, out of Everly, and we're gonna pull right over to Manasota Beach Road. So if you're watching our videos, we're always talking about Manasota Beach Road. You can take a right here on Manasota Beach Road and you'll be going east. That'll take you to River Road, which is 777, and you can take that north straight up to 75. All right, but, let's show you. So that's where you can go to 75. That'll also take you to the new high school they're building out here as well. And a little birdie did tell me that the high school has been delayed. So we're not quite sure when that's gonna be open. Well, we shouldn't say high school. Yeah, we should. Ninth through 12th, yes. That is correct. So now we're gonna head west on Minnesota Beach Road. And we're gonna come to a roundabout. You can go right here and you'll go north. And really, if you go north, that'll take you straight up to the Cool Today Park and to the main entrance coming into Welland Park. Now, straight ahead right there will be a Publix. So if you're living in Everly, like you can take your golf cart in five minutes, you'll be at the Publix. Um, obviously, if you're watching our videos, there is another Publix and it is up at 41. Um, and really the main entrance, that's 10 minutes away as well. To our left, we have commercial coming in too as well. We don't know exactly what it is going to be, but we will keep you in tune. All right, we're still heading west, and here we come to a, another roundabout. And you can take Prado right here, and you can go north, and you can get right up there to 41 Tamiami Trail. But this is Minnesota Beach Road. Eventually, you hear us talking about it. Minnesota Beach Road will take you all the way over to um, Inglewood Road. And then you get over at Inglewood Road, you can cross over and get to Manasota Beach. So from right here, you're like 10 minutes away from the beach. Six miles as a crow flies. When the road's open, it's complete. Yes, when it is completed. You know, we get a lot of questions about the road being completed and when it's gonna be completed. We have no idea. We just know that it's coming in. We have evidence that we've seen with the drone. <laughs> yeah, if you've watched some of our videos, you'll see me flying the drone right along the road. But if you look right out there to the west, this is Palermo. This is all Palermo. This is a monster. It's gonna be a beautiful community. If you're wondering what community this is over here, that's Welland Park Golf and Country Club. Not a lot left in there. If you're interested in getting a golf lot, there's just a few left. Oh, look at this. They're putting in the sign for the clubhouse. All right, we may get kicked out of here, but we're going to show you as much as possible. <laughs> Let's see how we, we got to go in backwards today. So that's, this is the main entrance right there so to the right. We're going in the exit right now, but we're going to swing back around here. This is the entrance. So this will be the gated area. So you'll come through the gates here. I'm super excited about this community, y'all, because up until now, Everly has been the best thing that Welland Park and Venice has, but this is definitely going to give Everly a run for their money. Absolutely. It's just going to be a good comparable community, that's all. And it's just, it's huge. So it is much larger, I think, than Everly, wouldn't you say? Yeah, we don't know exactly how many lots are out here yet. That hasn't been disclosed. So we're going to start disclosing what we know. Let's talk about it. I did a lot of research for you guys. Let's bust out the facts that I found out. This is going to be a gas community. David Weekly has more information on their website. David Weekly is the, one of the builders coming in here. We showed you in our Vistera video that we just did, if you were watching. Oh, look at that, they got it. Yes, right in front so of us that, is where the amenities are coming in right here. All right, so that's gonna be where the huge clubhouse is gonna be. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so the clubhouse is gorgeous. I don't know how large it is, nobody's disclosed but they are going to have a restaurant and a grill pub. So the uh, amenities do include, uh, they're gonna have a community garden, basketball, pickleball, fitness center, a resort style pool with cabanas, uh, tennis courts, as well as pickleball and ba basketball, playgrounds, and then the grill pub and the restaurant. And I, I don't know if you were listening when I said playground, basketball court, this is gonna be a family friendly community. Also um, on David Weekly's website, they did already have their HOA fees and their lot sizes. We've heard there's gonna be some really large lots back here. Their HOA is going to be 429 a month. 
and it is going to include your lawn maintenance and irrigation. 221 of that uh, a month is going to be the base and then 88 a month is for your food and beverage at the restaurant and then 120 a month is for the 65 foot lot. So David Weekly is going to be building 65 on 65 foot lots. Pretty exciting. That's, That's big a, for here in Wild yeah. Park. So there's MI's model going in. All right, so next builder up, we have, well, look at this. We've got ICI Homes with now, their model. I, ICI Homes to. is a full custom builder. And it says from the high sevens on the sign. That's nice because on their website, it didn't say anything. So let's talk about ICI Homes. Custom Homes, they've been building for over 44 years. They are going to be building between three to five bedrooms, two to four baths and all the way up to around 4,000 square feet. So you're gonna be able to uh, build a larger home over here. ICI Homes was just ranked in the top 100 builders. So, you know, really prestigious awards that they've won there. Yeah, I gotta back up a little bit just so we could talk about MI. We know MI, you know, they're a great builder here in Florida. Um, obviously, they're one of our preferred builders. But what's really exciting about ICI is you got a full custom builder in here. Yeah, so you're gonna have Homes by Town, which is going to be your semi-custom builder in here. We're super excited about Homes by Town because they're in Lakewood Ranch. They're, they built out Lake House Cove. They're building Shellstone um, at Waterside. So if you're familiar with uh, Homes by Town, you've heard us talk about them. We've done videos on them, great builder. Uh, so you're gonna have you're gonna have track builders, which is gonna be MI, Neil Ho Neil Homes, and David it, Weekly, and David Weekly. Then you're gonna have semi custom homes by town, all the way up to custom, which is ICI Homes. Um, and MI is going to be you know they're advertising that there's gonna be preserve views, lake views, and also that they're gonna be building um, pools as well. So. Now they're also gonna be building what up to five thousand square foot homes unbelievable so you know this is definitely a community to keep your eye on if you want to be added to the interest list please call us and let us know and we will get with our sales rep and get you on that list so that you can be one of the first um, when the lots are available not a lot of pricing has been released seeing that ICI home starting in the 700s that was the first thing I've heard of pricing so we'll definitely be giving you all updates on our channel so make sure you keep watching yeah, and I just wanted to go back to, you know, David Weekly and ICI Homes. If you guys are watching our videos, we're originally from Central Florida. So ICI Homes has been building in Central Florida for quite some time. So is David Weekly. 100% um, approved builders with us. Uh, all of you guys, if you guys are watching our videos, background builder developer. Um, so if you want to know anything about the construction of any of these builders, just go ahead and drop a comment below or text me, call me, email me. I can tell you all about these builders. All right, we showed you Palermo. Now we are going to show you the drive to the beach. And it says right now 32 minutes. Yeah, so we may see some traffic. Well, I don't know. We'll see along the way. But you got to remember, we are in the southwest corner of Welland Park as it is right now. So we're really the furthest from Venice Beach right here. Now, Welland Park will be expanding south of here as well, all the way towards Inglewood. Really, it's, you know, Welland Park is gonna hit Inglewood. But as soon as that Minnesota Beach Road opens, this will be 10 minutes from the beach, so. So you'll be 10 minutes to Minnesota Beach, but if you wanna get to the Venice Beaches, you know, you're gonna tack on another 10 minutes because you're gonna have to go north on Inglewood Road to get there. All right, here is the roundabout. If you wanna go east on Minnesota Beach Road, there you go to your right. You go left, Minnesota Beach. And of course, we're gonna head north towards Tamiami Trail. All right, we're heading north, so this is Playmore. If you make a right here, you will get straight over to the Cool Today Park. If you don't know what the Cool Today Park is, Atlanta Braves training facility and a lot more. There's a tiki bar up there, restaurant open all year round, all kinds of events going on there during the year. All right, we didn't mention this yet, but this is a walking trail going around the lake that's in downtown Welton Park. And there is a lot of walking trails in Welton Park. Richard, how many walking trails? How much There's walking? actually 33 miles of walking trails throughout Welton Park as of right now. 
And just keep in mind, there's a lot more coming to Welland Park. So there's the downtown right there. So literally the downtown is like a five to 10 minute drive from both the neighborhoods we just showed you. Yeah, we're somewhere around like 10,000 homes and this, this monster is, is planned for 22 plus. I see some land acquisition going down uh, where, you know, we could be looking at, you know, 30,000 homes when this is all said and done. And over here, this is the hospital facility they're working on and it is going up quickly. It's not a full-blown hospital, we've been told it's just a some kind of a healthcare facility, I'm not sure. There's a sign for it right here. Yeah, it's HCA Florida, Inglewood Hospital. That's funny, we've got Northport, Venice, and Inglewood all in one little vicinity. All right, so this is 41, Tammy Amy Trail. Say that 10 times fast, Tammy Amy, Tammy Amy. <laughs> Try five. <laughs> All right, so we're heading west on Tamiami Trail, Tamiami Trail, Tamiami Trail. So if you guys know the backstory of Welland Park, it did start out as the West Villages, but then uh, they made a deal with the Cool State Park to call it Welland Park and to build the hotel in the downtown area and all this good stuff. So they changed it to Welland Park. When it was West Villages, Grand Paradiso right here on the right, and Island Walk on the left were the first communities that were built to start off Welland Park, if you will. So they are considered Welland Park, but they are already built out. There's no new construction, per se, in them. Great communities, though. Grand Paradiso is more of a family-friendly community with lots of events. And then Island Walk over here is known as a non-family-friendly community. <laughs> they, the residents like to mention to everyone touring the community that they do not like to have kids in the community. So. Listen, if you're looking, we have clients that are like, hey, you know, we love kids, but we don't want to have them in our community. I totally get it. So if you're looking for a community like that, Island Walk is great. If you have a family, Grand Paradiso is great as well. I always like to mention that because you definitely don't want to move into a community with your family and then find out, you know, your kids aren't welcome. Yeah, so if you have any questions about any of the communities in Venice, obviously we have the answers for you. Just comment below, call us, text us, we're here for you. And if we don't have the answer, we'll definitely find it. Absolutely. Taylor Ranch Elementary is on the left right here. That is the current elementary school that Welland Park is zoned for. Coming up on the left here is Sarasota National Golf Course Community. PGA Tour Golf Course right here. They have beautiful amenities. Their pool is like a resort and they have a little bar area by the pool with drinks and food. It's a lot of fun over there. It's like li living at a resort for sure. Yeah. All right, still traveling on 41 for Tammy and me. This is the Target Plaza. Got a couple of restaurants here, Wendy's, Applebee's. I will tell you, I'm not in love with this Target, but it'll do. But also in the plaza is Sarasota Wine, and they have liquor and everything, uh, best prices around Venice. You can compare it to like a total wine. They got everything you need. And then also at the end of this plaza is a Bell's, and it just got redone, and it's actually really good. They have a lot of stuff in there. Here's a Publix, love this Publix. This is the Publix that I tell all of our beach walk owners to come to, because this is the closest Publix. And it's nice and new. We got a couple of restaurants in there as well. If you need a Walmart, there's one to yes, the left over Walmart here. Walmart is on the left over here. We're passing Jacaranda. Yeah, so if you're looking for major shopping, you can get up to the UTC from Welland Park, and it's a 30 minute drive to the University Town Center, which is a massive mall with every store you can think of watching our videos. We did a video on it. Now, this is what we call Car Row right here in Venice. Look at Cadillac, Chevy. All right, so this light we're going through right now, if you go south right here, this is Inglewood Road. So when that Minnesota Beach Road is done, it'll take you that 10 minutes to get over to the Minnesota Beach, well actually five minutes to Inglewood Road. And then you'll just take a right and head north on Inglewood Road and you'll come up to 41 right here. So you really cut off about 10 to 15 minutes of drive time to the beaches. We're 12 minutes away right now from Venice Beach. All right, I know we said that 
you have to go to the UTC for like the main, like the mall type shopping, but we do have some stores over here. And in this plaza right here, we have a Spotlight Theater, which is our movie theater for Venice. It's very nice. This is Alligator Drive. So yeah, it's leather reclining seats. There's some food and drinks and stuff like that. Great movie theater. It's really the only one we have right now. We're actually wondering if we're gonna get another one now that Welland Park is up and going. We'll keep you in tune with that. Yeah, and just one more thing about Spotlight. It's all fresh and new and clean, so. It is, it's a nice place to go watch a movie. No complaints from me, except for, it's a little small. There was a new movie that came out. What movie were we trying to see? Oh, we were trying to go see Twister and it was just booked. We couldn't get in anywhere. But they, they have food, cocktails, whatever yeah. you need. And we're getting more um, stores coming in as well. Well, the park obviously is, is bringing in a lot more commercial to the area, so we're excited about that. For all of you uh, do-it-yourselfers or work on your home, there's a Lowe's. Yeah, so that Lowe's, if you're in Wellen Park, deep in Wellen Park, you know, you're looking at about 15, 18 minutes. And there is our local ABC. I highly don't recommend going there though. I would go to the Sarasota Wine. I think the prices are better. And also there's a little shop on the island that's super nice too. All right, so we're on Shamrock and 41, and I wanted to point out to you ladies what uh, shops are in this plaza right here. First, there is an Aldi, so if you like to shop at Aldi, there you go. We've got Burlington Coat Factory, Marshalls, and Ulta that just opened up that I'm super excited about, ladies. Then you've got Home Centric, which has a lot of stuff for your house, super cute store. I don't know if you saw, there was a Bonefish, Jersey Mike's, this pineapple tequila restaurant is a New Mexican restaurant that's supposed to be super good. Petco, Green Pet Owners, Dollar Tree, Norma Jean's as a sports bar, I've heard good things about. And your first watch, an Urban Taco, which I've heard is comparable to, uh, is that other Mexican place? Hermes Tacos? No, Hermes Tacos <laughs> is the best. Yeah, they beat them out. <laughs> All right. Now, just in the middle of that plaza that we just passed, uh, we didn't show you, but to your left, you can make a left onto 41 as well. And that 41 over there will take you to the South Bridge um, to get onto Venice Island and take you over to Sharkies and Fins and get you over to, you know, the South Beaches there. So, you know, really that takes another five minutes off of your drive time to get to, say, Venice Beach. So if you're looking for those beaches, they are closer. Yes, yeah, so we're going the long way to the beach just to show you a little bit more. There's actually three bridges that take you over to the beach, correct, Richard? Yes, there's a South Bridge, and then you have Venice Ave Bridge, which we're gonna go over. Also, ladies, that is Detweiler's Fresh Market right there. So we don't have Whole Foods or anything like that, but we do have the Detweiler's right there. All right, so we are kind of, we're going to turn on Venice Avenue, right, Richard? Yeah, Venice Avenue is what I like to call the middle bridge. And then if you're coming, you know, from like Sarasota area, you're coming south, uh, there's a north bridge as well. All right, so we're turning on East Venice Avenue. Well, we were, now we're going to get stuck at the red light. <laughs> yeah, we may have, we, we had a delay here because the drawbridge was up here on Venice Avenue. Yeah, just so you guys know, um, all three bridges have a drawbridge. So when you're coming over to the island, you may get stuck for a few minutes waiting for a boat to come by. But if you're a boater, you want that drawbridge. All right, for you boaters out there, if you're looking for a boat ramp right here, great boat ramp to go ahead and launch out on. Great parking. There's several more, of course. So we're gonna drive by the Venice Theater and show you guys. We're just gonna take a little detour from the straight route to the beach. You know, the theater, when uh, Hurricane Ian came through, it, it was an old structure and building, so it did do a lot of damage to the building. But Venice has been working hard to rebuild it, and so we're gonna show it to you. So it is a community theater. And I'm not gonna be able to get over, so we'll just drive through the downtown for a little bit and just circle back around. Okay. So this is our downtown here in Venice, and I have to tell y'all, there are a lot of great restaurants down here. Here is the Venice Theater right here. 
got pictures up in the front of them rebuilding it. They've really done a great job. All right, that's our little detour. We'll get right back over to the downtown. You've got Made in Italy right there. They've got great pizza, great Italian food. I just feel like I find out about new restaurants down here all the time that I haven't tried, but I hear are super good. I'm super hungry right now, so I'd like to go in there and spend some time. I know. Our clients were just telling us about an Italian restaurant that I didn't know about. Right here is TJ Carney's. And here, pull that up a little bit. The famous TJ Carney's right there. So that, that is a good time if you want to hang out in a pub, if you like live music. On the weekends, they have live music sometimes. Got the daiquiri deck right here. That has um, outdoor pet-friendly seating. You want to bring your pets. All right, so that's the downtown strip. And if you didn't notice, when you're driving on the downtown strip, you got to be very careful. People will just walk right across the street. So keep your eyes open. Look at these trees. I love these trees. Every time we drive down here, it's so beautiful. And I love some of these homes. Some have been rehabbed and redone. Some have been torn down and rebuilt. And so Venice Beach is straight in front of us. I guess it took us 30 minutes. I forgot to look at the clock when we first left, but it's a super easy drive. Yeah, we got stuck at the drawbridge too, so that was four minutes, five minutes, something like that. All right, so we're at Venice Beach. We're gonna show you some of the amenities they have here, we'll call it. All right, so we have restrooms over here, but then we also have this little snack shack place. Look at this, you got wine, sangria, daiquiris. What else could you want? <laughs> Ice cream. And then you also have this, uh, they have some other items. We'll pop and show you over here. If you guys are coming here and you don't have a shark tooth sifter, you can come over here and purchase one. So you can look for shark's teeth. They are right here. So you just, you use this to spoon the sand onto here and then you can go through and look for the shark's teeth. T-shirts and everything. This is new. All right, you have showers. It is free to park here as well. I always like to remind people because on the East Coast, you have to pay to park, but over here you do not. We used to go to Clearwater Beach all the time and we were constantly having to put quarters in the, the well, machine. Well, yeah, they take a credit card machine now and that is the West Coast. So there is some beaches on the West Coast where you do have to pay yes. to park, but down here in Sarasota County, you do not. All right, obviously I'm wearing a black shirt today. I don't suggest wearing a black shirt um, <laughs> with this heat right now. What a beautiful day. I'd like to say that we have our bathing suits and we're gonna end this tour here so that we can go relax and hang out by the beach. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed everything you saw today. We, start, we started off by showing you our top two luxury communities for Welland Park, that was Everly. And then we showed you the new community, Palermo, that we're super excited about. And then we showed you the drive to the beach. If you have any questions about anything that we showed you today, make sure you reach out to us. Or if you're thinking about moving here, reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, whichever one you prefer. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. It was fun. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.